Hussein for uh, the tonight's uh, broadcast. The news uh, filtered in that apart from the fact that the federal government of Nigeria is owing Mazil Namdikanu, eh, is being owed five billion naira court judgment. Mazil Namdikanu is also being owed by the government of Eastern Nigeria of one billion naira. Now, today, the indigenous people of Biafra took the Eastern uh, Nigerian government to court because the process that resulted into the proscription of IPOB, when they called IPOB, terrorist organization, the people behind all of that were the former governors of Eastern Nigeria. So in 2017 or thereabouts, Bokuari declared and proscribed IPOB. So IPOB went to court, okay, by taking the government of Eastern Nigeria, the people behind it. One of them today is the Minister of Works in Nigeria, Devil Umayi. So today, that IPOB, you know, IPOB, indigenous people of Biafra, is of uh, people of the eastern part of Nigeria who are campaigning and advocating, calling for a referendum to determine if they want to be part of Nigeria or not. They are those behind the independence agitation for the people of Biafra. In a democracy, it is a welcome development. In Nigeria, they decided to criminalize it and they started killing every young person that they could label IPOB. They, they descended, they used their media to blackmail them and descend on them until the point when they had to set up their own uh, criminal political gang called unknown gunmen. So with all of that effort inside their own court, today, the court said IPOB should be paid eight billion naira in damages for all of the human rights abuses that they have suffered in Nigeria. As at this moment, if you combine every debt that Nigeria and their contemporaries or whatever subsidiaries have accumulated in killed on you Nigerians because of IPOB, right now is over 12 billion uh, naira. And this is the truth. They might be telling you other things in, on your media in Nigeria or elsewhere. But none of everything they've managed to cook up and then uh, deceive you with has been proven, even in their own court. The kidnapping of Namdikanu by Bokwari. Eh, has already cost Nigeria over 6 billion naira. Just so you know. And yet, in every time they manage eh, to take him to court or call his case, he has won every case. As well, that's also a fact. So when his lawyer came up uh, earlier, he kind of elaborated more. And I'm going to ask you to listen, please. Uh, that um, scored this uh, landmark victory at the Enugu State High Court today on behalf of Mazen Namdekano. The subject of this uh, lawsuit um, is simply the proscription of IPOB in 2017, uh, firstly by the Southeast governors uh, who fired the first salvo on 14 September 2017, followed by the executive decision of the federal government to proscribe IPOV and declare it a terrorist organization. We didn't come to court to contest the judicial proscription. It's a different matter altogether. But the executive decision or executive action taken before the judicial 
a decision. Why? Because such actions are prohibited expressly under Section 42 of the Nigerian Constitution. It's a fundamental right of every Nigerian citizen not, not to be discriminated against in the exercise of government policies, actions, and decisions. It's clear under Section 42 of the Constitution, all Nigerians are not aware of this. So they let it fly each time the government steps on them through its executive actions or decisions. But we are vigilant to that. So we noted that the action that the East governors took, proscribing IPOB, was an executive action. It was an executive decision, followed three days later by the federal government that raised the memo through the Attorney General of the Federation to the President, approving the proscription of IPOB and declaration of the group as a terrorist group. All of these together combined constitute the prohibited executive actions or decisions they sought that Section 42 of the Constitution prohibited. It's a fundamental right, meaning you cannot violate it and get away with it. It's a right that is inherent in every Nigerian, in all of us. So our case in chief is that there are other ethnic tinged organizations across Nigeria that pursue one group interest or the other, political, mostly, or commercial. I'm not here to name names. Nigerians know that there, are a pro there is a proliferation of ethnic tinged organizations. Some of them are even very evidently violent. But the federal government never took any step at all to either proscribe any one of them or to declare any one of them a terrorist group. But it took this proactive step supported by South East governors in targeting IPOB particularly, because IPOB caters to the interests of the evil man and their cousins from the South side of Nigeria. There is no way of denying this. You can make all these allegations in the media and in Bia Palos and everywhere, but if you don't take them to court to be adjudicated, they will remain mere allegations. So we decided that the best next best thing to do that instead of debating this in the public let us test the authenticity or the wrongness or rightness of these actions taken against ipob in court and we did and we prevail today to the glory of god so what thank you, you yes well, okay, it's, it's to the glory of Nigerian law that uh, pursuing fundamental rights don't, doesn't have or does not admit of statute of limitations. You can pursue your fundamental rights any time that you wake up to those rights. So you cannot be defeated by a fluxion of time. So there is time for everything. Even in the Bible, it is said that there is time for everything because of the escalation of the persecution that is being tagged as prosecution of IPOB members, mostly Igbo youths and some from the South South, by the departed government, the previous government, and because the, where maybe the present government has not come to terms with that, we decided that every right broken must be pursued in court. Every wrong done must be pursued in court. Yes, we of course we are lawyers, so we are going to go for the whole hog. So we ask for a whole lot of releases, uh, release, including stopping the prosecution of Mazen Nandekano, and it's grantable, but the court declared that it doesn't have jurisdiction to do so, but it proceeded to grant, graciously grant the reliefs that it, it, in its wisdom it felt it has jurisdiction to do so. Number one, it declared as unconstitutional and as a violation of the fundamental rights of Mazin Nam Dekano that that action of proscription was taken, proscription and declaration of IPOB as a terrorist group violated section 42 of the constitution. That's a big win. And then secondly, the judge upheld our argument that safe determination is not a crime and therefore cannot ground uh, that um, score this.
And <clears throat> that's a eight billion naira uh, video you just watched there. And that was why I have been kind of smiling. Uh, somebody said, who is going to pay? Eh? That who is going to pay the money? Is it Nigeria, the lawless country? Of course, just pile everything up, okay? And keep putting them on one another. And there is going to be a time they are actually going to pay, okay? So for being another win, let's use this one to hold body. It's not going away and it's not going anywhere. It's just like that uh, bone tied in the neck of a uh, the neck of a dog. The dog can't eat the bone, and the dog can't take the bone away. The easiest thing is for the political system, including all of you who are fighting for one Nigeria, one Nigeria. It is the moment of truth, though. And like I said, I am not going to use tonight to continue, I mean, to kind of make it look like I told you so. Okay? But in fact, it's actually going to be about, right, the moment that uh, you have to now tell yourself the truth based on your own experience, having tried to save Nigeria. Okay, in your way, one Nigeria. Mm -hmm.